Wait, so this is the second time they've done this. This is sort of like a gimmicky Christmas in July thing that I, I think a lot of people sort of rolled their eyes at the first year they were doing it. But it was one of their busiest t days of the year last year, busier than Black Friday last year. It helped bring in a lot of prime members, these people who pay $99 a year. It's just a deal with they roll out a lot of sales. It's a way to sign up, most importantly, though, prime members, because if they can get someone signed up for their prime membership, they're coming after you sooner or later. They've likely got you for life, and you're going to spend a lot more on their site than you do right now. Hmm. So Amazon shares, uh, they fell a little yeah. bit today. People saying, oh, they didn't sell that much. But if that's not really the point, then does that really matter? I mean, isn't the question sign-ups and when will Right. How many people did they sign up? And we'll probably learn that in, when they release their next earnings result. But, you know, even though, so we got this data that looks at third-party people selling on the site that showed it wasn't that much bigger than last year. But remember, last year was still a big year of sales. And earlier in the day, they were having these glitches, technical glitches, which could be a sign either someone really messed up at Amazon or that traffic was so heavy that even Amazon, this huge behemoth, which really sells the service to help people handle huge web traffic, was having problems itself. So it could actually end up be, it being a boost for them. Um, but we're going to have to wait till they report their earnings. And another thing to look at is how much did they have to lose in margins, which Amazon is not famous for its margins. So how much did they have to lose in margins to offer these deals to lure people then to sign up for Prime? Not famous for their margins, but they <laughs> a lot of people say they're giving up the margins. They're willing to eat yeah. the margins for today. I heard they signed up an extra 35% uh, Prime members, or they boosted their Over Prime the course of last year, by 35% yeah. last year. Yeah. Um, it amazes me, though. We were talking about Amazon compared to Walmart, and Walmart does almost 500 billion in annual sales. Um, Amazon only does 100 billion and change, right? Yeah. So even though we think of Amazon as the biggest retailer in the world, right. it still is dwarfed by Wal even Walmart's brick and mortar operations yeah. alone. In this whole world of re in the total world of retail sales, uh, I'll, I should also note that Walmart posts a profit. Um, yeah. Amazon Walmart kind makes money of while sometimes doing posts it. Yeah. a profit, so Walmart's got that on them. Too, uh, despite you know Amazon's share performance, which just really has lapped Walmart. But in the world of online retail, so of course noth if nothing's about where you are; it's where you're going. And there's a sense that we're all, we're moving online, more and more online retail. In the world of online retail, Amazon has about seven times the sales of Walmart, according to our estimates. So. They do dwarf Walmart online, and if you do believe that brick and mortar is maybe not going away, but it's going to be marginalized, and you can see that a bit at Walmart with traffic to their stores slowing and them struggling to grow sales in their stores, then you could say, if you're looking at the future long-term investing, then Amazon's going to be a better play than Walmart if that's what you're looking at. So what is Walmart doing to close that online gap to compete with Amazon, and what kind of metrics did they use for investors to look at? We've got earnings season coming up. What are they going to be looking at to say, are they closing that gap? Yeah. Well, well, a key thing that investors are looking for are online sales, which Walmart does report in their earnings, and those have actually been slowing. So, I mean, here at Prime Day, for example, Walmart's offering free shipping. They're offering a lot of their own discounts, some of them looking better than Amazon's. Uh, they've got their own shipping pass program. Wait, this is what Walmart's doing months. on this Prime Day? This is what Day? Walmart's doing, yes. On Prime Day? Yes. And this they is did Walmart this last Prime Day. Year. Walmart has, they wouldn't call it Prime Day per se, but you know, a bunch of deals they coincidentally decided to launch. You go easy week. bake for on the uh, same day. There you go. On the same day, all week actually, even even one upping Amazon on that. All week they've got these deals going on, free shipping. They've also got a service that's trying to compete with Prime. Uh, they, you know, did a similar effort last year on Amazon's Prime Day, but so far there's no indication Walmart's catching them. Online sales growth is slowing at Walmart. Walmart knows it's a problem. They've been investing billions. 